This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Some of the most remarkable people are found in some of our most remarkable places. That's how it is in Chanute at the Osa and Martin Johnson Museum that is directed by our good friend Jackie Zimmer and her uh, husband Lloyd, many of you remember from running a bookstore in Topeka for many years, uh, which was just a dangerous place for me to walk into, and many of my friends as well. He sells online now, so you can check Lloyd out. And be sure and get by the museum when you can, and tell Jackie that Deb sent you. Um, the Johnsons are just two of the most remarkable Kansans ever, and their story just bears repeating every now and then. In the first half of the 20th century, an American couple, Martin and Osa Johnson, captured the public's imagination through their films and books of adventure in exotic, faraway lands. Photographers, explorers, marketers, naturalists, and authors, Martin and Osa studied the wildlife and peoples of East and Central Africa, the South Pacific Islands, and British North Borneo. They explored then unknown lands and brought back film footage and photographs offering many Americans their first understanding of these distant lands. Osa Lady was born and raised in Chanute. Martin grew up in Lincoln and Independence. Martin took part as a crew member and cook in Jack London's 1907 and 09 voyage across the Pacific aboard the Snark. After that, he started a traveling road show that toured the United States, displaying photographs and artifacts collected on the voyage. He met Osa Lady while passing through her hometown. Osa later penned a bestseller, I Married Adventure, which sums up the colorful couple's life. Television's first wildlife series, Osa Johnson's The Big Game Hunt, premiered in 1953. The Walt Disney Company was the first organization to license Johnson Film for the program Filming Nature's Mysteries. Disney again licensed Johnson Film as a part of Rafiki's Planet Watch at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The Architects and Disney team developing a new safari lodge borrowed Johnson Films from the museum in 1997 and 98 for research and inspiration. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge opened in April of 2001 and included is an ongoing exhibit of 36 Johnson photographs. Martin and Osa were the namesake, inspiration, and background story for the Martin and Osa clothing line and national chain of 28 Martin and Osa stores launched by American Eagle Outfitters. The Safari Museum was formed in 1961 to preserve the Johnson's achievements and to encourage further research into their fields of study. The museum started with a core collection of the Johnson's films, photographs, manuscripts, articles, books, and personal belongings donated by Osa's mother, but it has grown and flourished since then. The museum shares the beautiful old railroad depot with the Chinook Public Library. In 1998, the Martin and Osa Johnson Safari Museum was named by the History Channel Traveler website as one of the top 10 historic sites for Valentine's Day that capture romance American style. Thanks for being part of my day. I'm Deb Goodrich, and I'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.